in this example, we have a platform suspended by four steel wires. Okay. And each wire is five meter long and has a diameter of three mm. And the young modulus of steel is given. Okay. There. Lots of information. We have L, we have D, and then we have the young modulus E. The wire obeys Hooke's law when a load of mass 200 kg is placed on the platform. Pretty cool. How far will the platform descend because of the extension of the wire? So indirectly, they are just they are asking for extension. What is E? So how, how much will the platform move downwards? All right. So first things first, if you look at this situation, your steel wire, four of them work together to support your 200 kg. Okay. So if I take this arrangement, this is a parallel arrangement. So number one, I can say four wires share the load. Share the 200 times 9.81 load. Not 200 gram, 200 times 9.81. Okay. And number two, the extension E of all four wires are the same. Okay, are equal because it's a platform. Right, and they're equally shared out. Okay, if not, they will be tilted, and that's an inclined plane, not a platform. So, from here, I can just uh, start off with what Young modulus is. The Young modulus equation is force over area extension over unit original length, and I can find the extension. Okay, so from here, to find the extension is FL over EA, but I will take one single wire. Okay, I'm going to use this just for one single wire. So for one single wire, the force is 200 times 9.81 divided by 4. Okay, so I'm going to show the whole working, but of course you can just write 50 over 4. It's no, no big deal. Okay, divided by 4. This is my force on a single wire. I take one wire only, okay? Cost of extension is the same. The original length is 5 meter. So I put 5 at the back. Um, we have the young modulus 2.11, or 2.1, sorry, times 10 to the power of 11, and the area. So we have diameter, meaning this one must be pi diameter square 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3 square pi d square over 4. You do slowly. Lah. Don't be shy to break it up and find one by one. Okay? You don't have to put it all together in equation like I do. It's objective. No one cares. All right. So pi d squared over it. Square is at the wrong position. Pi d squared over 4. Okay, so I'm going to cross out my 4. Okay? okay? And then uh, I'll press calculator. So most of the time, if you can level up your calculator skill, Pressing this should be fairly uh, straightforward. Okay, so I'll do the top part first. Always put brackets. 200 times 9.81 times 5. You should press together with me on your own calculator. Okay, divided by 2.1 E11. Okay, divided by this thing. Okay, so pi. If you're not sure whether you can cross out your 4, don't cross out. No? Include this pi over 4 here. But I know I can. So I'm pretty okay. 3 mm. So this is 3 millimeter convert to meter. That's a negative 3 there. Okay. So square. And press that number. Equal. I'll get 1.65 times time 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay. I'll write that down. 1.65. times 10 to the power of negative 3, which is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter. Okay, if we think about it in 2SF. So all the units here have to be SI because the Young modulus is in Pascal and Pascal is in SI. So all the units when you use the Young modulus equation have to be SI unless there's a way that you can left-hand side and right-hand side cancel the unit. If you're not sure, always convert. All right, so the answer here is C. That's it for this question. Do slowly, find the area. That only put inside also can. Throw everything together inside also can. Up to you. I'll see you in the next example video.
Bye-bye.